Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Sarah. And we're the Global Geezers. We're over in Devonport. Devonport is a city just north of Auckland, but you have to cross by ferry to get over there. Ah, oh, you can take a car, but you gotta go over the bridge. But we took the ferry. Yep. So we took the ferry from Beachlands to uh, Auckland CBD, and then we waited, and we took another ferry to get over here. So we're gonna walk around and see what we find. Yeah, this is a little touristy area, so we thought we'd show you the area. It's really kind of cute. So, let's go. We're on the ferry to go to Devonport. We're sitting outside facing backwards, so we'll see how that goes. It's only supposed to be, what, 12 minutes? Yeah, it's just 12 minutes. Short boat ride. They have food on board if you're hungry. Well, you got shopping even before you get outside. This is just outside the port. And that's the street we're going to walk down. That's the street with all the shops and things. Here in Devonport, they're getting ready for the Anzac anniversary, which is, it celebrates the, or memorializes the dead from World War One and Two for the Australian and New Zealand citizens. And this is a little setup for all the Devonport people that lived here that died in the wars. All right, we're here at the Navy Museum in Devonport. And we're just kind of looking around. We're gonna take a look in the boat shed, see what that looks like. Some things are open, some things are just now opening. And we're here, it's noon, so. A 
There's a post office over there. Some other buildings. We got a French flag flying on the post office. That's interesting. A lot of cafes, some bars. Yeah, it's just a cute little area. Just got through eating here. It's yummy. Then we're gonna scroll up here and see what else tickles our fancy. Okay. We have a theater. It's called the Victoria Theater. The Vic for short. As we get up the hill, we're getting toward the end of the business area and getting into more of the getting more into the residential area. There is a big military base on this side. Um, we're kind of like sandwiched in between two military areas, but there's like forties and lookouts on top of the hills and we're gonna go take a look and see if we can find something up at the top of the hill. Takarunga, Mount Victoria. But we're gonna have a nice view once we get up there, that's for sure. We can already see the view behind me of Auckland. So we're hiking up this trail to Mount Victoria. Getting some pretty starting to get some pretty good views. It's really nice up here. Nice clear day. Every once in a while we have a little bit of speckly shade. And then oh, sunshine. Oh, this is a really pretty view. So off in the distance over here you see the bridge that goes from the south side, which is Auckland, to the north side. A little church steeple right down here. It's very crisp out, which means we don't really have to worry about overheating, which is nice. Straight ahead is a military base up on the hill. It's fortified for World War II. There are some bunkers that you can see. What do you think? Beautiful. Isn't that a great nice, view? Uh, nice, perfectly clear view of the volcano island. Yeah. We're almost to the top. Oh, it's a hike, but oh, well worth it. Now that is one of the World War II bunkers. Wow. Yeah, they had a good clear view. That's what's at the top of Mount Victoria. Of course, there's a car park up to your left too. A lookout point from World War II. 
Now a cell tower collector. Yeah, there are a lot of bunkers up here. You can see the exhausts for the bunkers that are still up here. Of course, they're under the dirt, but yeah, so cool. Looks like a hatch to get in and out of the bunkers. Fort Victoria, 1885. Wow, got a little history here. I guess we're going down into it. Oh, the big guns. They've got tunnels. Yeah. They're gated off, but there's tunnels that go into where you saw those little mushroom exhaust fans or exhaust ports. Place to store the shells and look at that guy. Yeah, they meant business here. Yeah. This is so cool. Look at this. Wow, look at the view. Oh my. It's a map of the cities. This is sitting at the top of the mountain by the big gun. You are here. So up one's here. We're over here. Yeah. And then where's the beach ones? Over. Wait, no. Yeah, no, it's right here. It's right, we're right. Oh, it's right here. Right in there. Now that, and then there's another little one right here. Good look at the car carry out to Wahiki Island, which you saw last week. That's the pier where we came in on, and you can see the boat leaving, heading back. Cool carving right there. Had some tennis courts up here back in World War II, looks like. This is all part of the base. Something to do while they're waiting for enemy ships to come into the harbor. Oh, it's, it looks like a little museum. The signalman's house. Okay, you can't drive all the way up unless you have access because there's a gate and a keypad over there. So you're gonna have to know somebody or have a keypad or the, the code to get in but you can park right there getting back into the town now these buildings are like from I don't know turn of the century not the recent century but the previous century you know between the 1800s and the 1900s that's what they look like Wine, beer, spirits. Oh, my rental car. Yeah. 
Yeah, we rented it, but it's defective because the steering wheel's on the wrong side. Oh no, it's not. Wow, that's an, actually an American, American vet. You don't see that often here. You wanna walk back down that way or you wanna keep continue? All right, I think we're done. I'm gonna head on home. It's been a long day. Back to the port. And that's where you get on the boat. Well, that was Devonport. It's so worth it to come over here if you're in the Auckland area for a few days because the views from Mount Victoria are just amazing. They're just beautiful. And we did this vlog over a couple trips here. Um, the first time we didn't videotape too much because we were meeting some other people. Um, so we wanted to come back. And so this was kind of a little bit of both of those trips. Uh, but yeah, it's... If you, if you have a full, beautiful day like we have, explore it all. Yeah. I mean, as much as you can. It's The downtown's really cute. There's lots of little local-type shops. Not like just stupid tchotchke stuff, but yeah. more locally kind of things. Yeah, it's which got... Which is kind of fun. It's got that old town feel. Yeah. Mom and pop kind of stuff instead of like... I don't know, the yeah. run of the mill. <laughs> but get up to Mount Victoria and just walk around. There's a dirt trail that kind of goes around to the left as you're going up, or you can take the, if you have a car, you can drive up. Or take but the trail. Take the trail. <laughs> oh, it's just so beautiful. That's this episode of the Global Geezers. We hope you enjoyed it. And we hope to see you next week for another beautiful area of New Zealand. Until then, bye. bye. Here in Devonport, they're getting ready for it. <laughs> they're getting ready. No, no, you don't. She's a menu model. A lookout point for World War II. Or a lookout point. God, she's so Huge. That's what she said. Okay, this store has style. We're just walking by this pharmacy and they have a Vikings hat all the way here in New Zealand. Really? Are you? That's awesome. My favorite store right there. They have style and class.